Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to show you the flowers of Edinburgh. Flowers of Edinburgh is one of the best known Scottish reels. It's the title of a Scottish country dance and if you're playing that particular dance then this is the tune to start with. It's also played as an English Morris tune and in Ireland it's played both as a reel and a hornpipe and I believe it's quite commonly played in America and Canada as well. And this is a request for Honest Frankie. This tune was possibly written by James Oswald. It appears in his uh, Scottish 1742 collection of fiddle tunes. Uh, as regards what the, the title refers to, uh, I always refer to the, uh, the, the, the site called the Fiddler's Companion, which is uh, an enormous compendium of uh, information and uh, often great entertainment. And looking there I found that the flowers of Edinburgh, um, the flowers often refer to women when used in tune titles, but in this case it may refer to prostitutes, to magistrates, to the smell of 18th century Edinburgh or to the contents of chamber pots. I thought you'd like to know that. So I'm going to go through the tune slowly uh, and then we'll take it up to tempo. So it's in the key of G. One, two, three, four. <laughs> of um, ornamentation needs to go in this but I do put a few double cuts here and there and a double cut is when you precede a melody note with uh, two grace notes so that phrase I might do one three one and you always slur the grace notes into the melody note so uh, I've got that on some of those B's and some of the uh, the high G's where I'm doing Two, three, two. Um, on the on that note at the beginning of the B section, you can put a B underneath the G. Or if you really wanted, you could do a full four note thing. And um, you could extend some of those. You could do. Or you could do something like that if you want. So a few tiny variations is nice. Um, that's about it. I'll play through it again uh, with the backing this time and I'll play it up to tempo and with those ornaments.
of Enley. Uh, this is the kind of tune that you might very well play at a Scottish Cayley. And um, how to finish and how to start one of these tunes is a valuable little uh, lesson. So there's, there's lots of different ways of doing it, but what I will often do is to start off a tune, if I'm leading in, with the last two bars of the tune. Something like that. And uh, to really emphasise it, if you put a little stop in just before the end of the ending. That kind of thing. Uh, that way it sets up the tempo, it lets the rest of the band know exactly where they are. Um, as regards ending, um, a common ending for Scot Scottish tunes is... Pause. And it's up to the fiddle player to mark that by raising the fiddle, glancing at the band, and bringing the bow deliberately down, and even marking the end of the note, like that. And then everyone will know that you're in charge, that you have a fine disciplined band, and they will want you back next time. <laughs> so thank you for watching. If you would like a copy of the dots for this tune, then do subscribe and send me an email, and I'll send you a copy. And I'll play you out with an up-tempo version of the same tune. See you again soon.